want to discuss with you the case of Don C. Garcia, who's recently been arrested in McAllen, and I would like to get your point of view because he has been in all to all of the substantial hearings and has gathered much facts about the case from what I've heard. Okay. Um, first of all, I would like to record this interview in order to get all of the details right and to be vi attentive to you and not worry about them as well. Do you have a problem with this? No, I don't. Okay. Now that you've answered my question, let's proceed and go on with the interview. Um, well, first off, I want to know, why are you so interested in this case? Like, what got you interested to begin with? Do you know John C. Garcia? I don't know him personally, but um, I am an active runner, and mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time at Archer Park um, daily, and my kids play there, and I guess my whole, um, why I'm interested is because I want to know, is there violence going on that I need to know about, that I need to be aware of when I do take my kids to the park? Is um, So you would like to know if it's safe enough to take your kids? Yes, I would. Okay, that's, that's reasonable. I understand that. Mm, do you know specifically why he was arrested? I do know that apparently he was um, mistakenly identified as a sex offender that they had been, um, there had been complaints about. And mm -hmm. sex offender for children, actual adult children? Mm -hmm. and, um, Adults, women. So it could be the girls. Yes. Really, okay. So it doesn't matter what age. It's just yeah. So apparently he had been um, just harassing them, saying his language towards them wasn't very appropriate, and there was just several complaints. And um, I wasn't a witness to it, but I mean, if that's what's going on around the park, so I would really that's like the to allegation. Know. Yes. The allegation is he's he was a he was the Offender. Yes. Even though there's no witnesses to corroborate that. No. There's no picture. Well, there is a witness, I believe, um, an older female. But um, mm. other than that, there's just been complaints, calls into the police department that there's a man going around the park harassing. Did they say specifically how old he looked like? What he was driving? Um, apparently, he's an older gentleman. Um, I want to say I heard he was in his 40s or 50s, um, tall, thin, with a dark complexion. So he was on foot all the time, or he actually, like, got into cars and rode around looking for these women? I'm not too sure, but, um, I want to say he was on foot because, I mean, there's really nowhere to drive around the park. of any arrests in the area similar to his, like by mistaken identity? No, not that I know of. Um, but are there many arrests in the area in general, or there it's very complex? Um, it's, I mean, it's a, a park that I take my kids to, and I haven't heard any complaints or besides this um, whole incident that happened, but other than that, I arrest or anything like that. It's pretty upscale park. So it's uncommon. Yes. Specifically for this type of crime as well. Like yes. You didn't just go around spreading rumors like someone someone's a being perverted with kids and Yes. Okay. Do you feel as though the evidence presented in the hearings um, suffices for the charges filed against Garcia? Um I mean not really because of the descriptions they give of, of the supposed um, sex offender. So, in your opinion, he doesn't match the description because he's younger, he doesn't look like him, or? He doesn't look like him. Um, the judge is kind of a, his, uh, not very thin <laughs> or so you would his complexion is a bigger build yes and his complexion isn't he's kind of on the lighter side also he's like lighter like 
No, not till 10, not I guess. Not till 10. <laughs> okay. Dark complexion, you when somebody says that, you think like a, a very dark, tan person. And you've been out in the sun. Yes, and being and sunbathing. Jen Garcia doesn't look. How old very is, much would you tan. say he is? Um, he's probably about the same age. Um, 50s, 51, 52. And do you think the factor of when he was arrested, like during all the hype, do you think that if he was just strolling around on his own that he would have been arrested to begin with? No, I don't think so. I think his, um, um, the fact of him being the judge was kind of, Only because I just think he doesn't fit the profile, mm -hmm. but because he's a judge, he kind of made him a target in a way. So you think it's kind of like a political thing, then? Yes. Sort of politically connected, because he has a high-ranking official and he's here at the same time these rumors are spreading, and so yeah. it's like guilty by association. Yes. Okay. charges against the arresting officer? Yes, from what I heard. And I don't think it's been publicly announced. Um, announced, but from talk around. So the rumor, the rumor mill is spreading. I mean, it could be gossip, but it is something that I've heard about from several well, they've, people. They've been rumored, but not, not confirmed. Yes. And do you think he has the right to do so? Um, in a way I think he does, but I haven't heard of any witnesses mm, so there's that no are coming forward, so I think it's kind of like a he said, she said kind of thing. So it's one of those, do you think it's because he was a private prisoner and he's been going after the officers, or do you think he actually has some legal ground to go after these people? Um, yes. And yes, in a way, um, apparently he was um, assaulted in front of people, but I mean, nobody's come forward, the witnesses. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing he was probably embarrassed, so he used his authority to... So he was a, he was a, he was a victim of police brutality, yes. basically. That's what he's claiming. That, that's his basis for these charges. Yes, supposedly. Okay. And as far as you know, no other victims or like women have come forward saying, oh, this is specific to him. Like they've not pointed him out at all. Not the judge. Not the judge? They have um, pointed out a, subs a suspect, but not the judge. Okay. They, I guess, the fact that there have been talks about a male mm -hmm. going around the park. I just think he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, basically. So they were looking for someone to blame and he was the closest thing they had. That's what you're thinking. Like that's what this feeling is implying. Yeah, I also think it's political season, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always that. Sad to say that, but. describing um, one of the officers that he was, I guess, a dangerous, and um, he made a comment where it kind of makes me rethink, I mean, not rethink, but kind of think that he's exaggerating it a bit, okay. the judge. Do you know what the comment was? The were? comment was, um, if he would do this to me, what would he do to an ordinary citizen, particularly, particularly another Hispanic citizen. Um, I heard that the officer
officers were of white set? Yes. So it kind of makes me think that he's kind of playing the race card a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's a pretty strong comment to make towards somebody, especially an officer. And nowadays everybody is talking about police brutality and um, it could be for attention that the judge made or maybe the judge is racist. Maybe. There's always talk about racism from the white perspective, but there's also racism within his own group. So who's to say he's not gaining favor? Mm -hmm. It's a good point. I mean, if he's stating that maybe the officer, he could also be racist as well, but bringing it up, he brought it up yeah, to begin the judge with. Is That's something that I heard of. I don't know if that's true or not, but that was a comment that kind of made me rethink the whole situation as to, you know, maybe the judge is using his power over these officers and maybe he just doesn't like them. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I want to thank you for your time and I will assure you everything here is confidential. Everything here is anonymous. And um, if I need to have any more questions, can I contact you via email or telephone? Well, I sincerely enjoyed our time together.